On the morning of the 12th of March, 2009, a Cougar helicopter Sikorsky S-92A flying offshore, carrying 16 passengers and two pilots, were 54 nautical miles from the St. John's International Airport at 9,000 feet when a main gearbox oil pressure warning light illuminated. Approximately one second later, the amber main gearbox oil pressure costing message indicating a low main gearbox oil pressure appeared momentarily before extinguishing due to the illumination of the red main gearbox oil pressure warning message accompanied by the oral warning, gearbox pressure, gearbox pressure. Moments later, the captain directed the co-pilot to begin the emergency checklist. At 9.51, approximately six and a half minutes after the red main gearbox oil pressure warning message illuminated, the co-pilot stated that they were now in a land immediately situation in the emergency procedure. The captain acknowledged the co-pilot's comment about being in a land immediately situation, but indicated his intention to stop the descent at 1,000 feet. The co-pilot acknowledged the captain's decision, then repeated again that they were in a land immediately situation and that the emergency checklist was complete. At this point, the captain leveled out at 800 feet. The captain disconnected the autopilot, stating he would hand fly the helicopter. He did not respond to the co-pilot's second declaration that they were in a land immediately situation. At 9.55, there were indications that something had just happened to the helicopter and the captain made an immediate decision to ditch. At 9.56, less than one minute after the captain advised the Cougar dispatch that they were ditching, and 11 minutes after the loss of main gearbox oil pressure, the S-92 struck the water at a slight right bank nose high attitude. The helicopter sank rapidly. One passenger survived with serious injuries. The other 17 occupants of the helicopter died of drowning.